talking about independence and, and, and patriotism. We all, of course, love the three-day weekend we get every February, but what <laughs> is the real reason why we celebrate President's Day? Of course, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. It's very important. It is not about getting a cheaper mattress or a <laughs> discount on a car. Joining us to answer those questions about presidential history and the author of, of Raising of a President, Doug Weed, is joining us this morning from Washington, D.C. Is that right? You're in Washington, right? I'm in Washington. Oh, thank goodness. All right. <laughs> Boy, I would have blown that one. Hey, good morning to you, Doug. We're talking about President's Day. Why does it this holiday matter and why is it more important than going and getting a discount on a mattress? <laughs> well, it, it's important. It's very uniquely Anglo-American. It's important because it unites us and we're very divided uh, along ethnicity, uh, uh, science and religion, left and right and politics. We're a very divided nation, but we are united in our heroes, Washington, Lincoln and some of the other presidents. And that's that's a bit unique in the world. Uh, uh, Germany has no heroes like this. And Australia, a great country I go every year, you ask them who their national hero is and they say uh, Nicole Kidman because <laughs> yeah. they can't unite on a political figure in their history. So it's important to us because it's a point of unity as a people and it gives us some heroes. You know, Doug, back uh, a few years ago when we were in school, we used to celebrate the days separately, Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday. It's been combined. Is that taken away from any of the actual celebration? I, I don't think that it has. I think uh, uh, the focus on one day has actually been very, very positive. And I think the fact that we make heroes out of Lincoln and Washington probably reveals more about us uh, as a nation and as a people that it does about Lincoln and Washington because we could just as easily be as other nations are and pick them apart. I mean, uh, Washington uh, was in love with his neighbor's wife and even in retirement tried to get her to move near Mount Vernon. Lincoln was a terrible father. Instead, we focus on the greatness of these people and w we pull that out of them and we celebrate uh, Washington who walked away from power. You contrast the, that to Vladimir Putin today, you get an idea of the greatness of that and Lincoln who held us together it, it's uh, very revealing about our desire to want to believe the positive about ourselves Doug your head is gonna spin now because we're gonna bring in Rick Beard and you're gonna be so jealous he is the uh, executive director of the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum Foundation great Doug stand by and look at these incredible artifacts that Rick has been kind enough to bring here this morning we had the hat before we've showed you before you wouldn't uh, mm -hmm. 